Uh, we want to bring in a, a very important interview right now via Skype. Uh, anger, frustration, it's growing around the country and over the, over the death of George Floyd. Yeah, absolutely. Joining us now is Michael Lawson, the president and CEO of the Los Angeles Urban League. We appreciate you joining us on the air. We know you've had to wait as we cover all of what's happening, and so we appreciate your time, but we'd love to know your perspective on what's happening here. What are your thoughts today? The country is grieving. The, when you look at what happened to, to George Floyd, Armin Arbery, these are examples of things that happen without being noticed. The interesting thing is that these were witnessed. And we are grieving over that, and we're grieving over the lack of response until you have something like this. Now, the fact is that most of the people out there who are protesting are not looting. And there are two separate groups. And we, we do not condone the looters at all. They are having, the impact that they are having is, is a negative impact on what we are trying to do, what we need to do to move this country forward. They are not, no, no one condones this activity. Not for one minute. We have been the vast majority of the protesters out there are doing it peacefully, angrily, but peacefully. Yes, and, and we have been trying to distinguish the two, that looters are looters and protesters are protesters. Uh, there's one with a good, a good goal and there's one with a bad goal. But with that said, how do you get it across to people who watch images, hear the rhetoric out there? How do you get across to them that these are different entities with different goals? It's clear. You can't look at the, the killings that we're talking about. And understand, these are the killings that we know. These are the killings that we have evidence to prove. Multiply that by 10, and that's what happens in our communities. There's frustration out there. So we are fight. We are, we have been, and for years have been fighting over these issues, trying to change the way that law enforcement interacts with our communities. Can we talk? And we have been doing that peacefully. And there are there are factors out there that are taking advantage of what is happening. We have no so we give no support to that whatsoever, and we are doing whatever we can to 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 eliminate that element. Let's talk about next steps. Do you have any suggestions, recommendations, a road map of where we move from here? What can we tell people? Well, when you say where we move from here with, with respect to what issue? Well, when you're, the focus, our focus is primarily on the issue of law enforcement and the fact that they act like an occupying force within our communities. Definitely, and that's an issue that absolutely needs to be discussed and tackled. And, but when we look at the destruction that's happening in the communities, um, granted, we understand that the protesters are completely separate from the crimes that are occurring um, alongside it. But how do we get people to have hope, move forward, have conversations, still get their voices heard and protest and make significant change without burning down our homes and our communities. The vast majority of the protesters out there are doing just that. And you look at the diversity of those protesters, the message is getting out. This, these, these looters, they are an aberration. They are not part of what we are trying to address. There's frustration there, but there's also a lack of training. You didn't see this in the 60s and the nonprofit, that, excuse me, the, the nonviolent movement that, that was going on in the 60s, and you saw horrific, horrific responses from the law enforcement against people who were peacefully, peacefully protesting Jim Crow laws. People like James Lawson, Reverend James Lawson, who is in this city, is one of the icons of that non, 
nonviolent movement. It too, we, we spent hours and days and months training people on how not to respond to the violence that was meted upon us. We need to re-engage some of that, but understand that what you saw in the nonviolence movement was us being beaten, fire hosed, dogs coming after us, and we did not respond. Now, the, there needs to be some additional understanding of what the long-term impact will be of this. this. This looting will not help to advance what we are trying to do. It will not. And we, in, in, for that reason, we, we declare that that is not part of what our movement is about. And we will continue to work with that. But understand, they are learning this from what America does. They look to the violence that is meted upon us on an everyday basis, and they're returning the same. It is not just us who have to say, stop, don't do this. We have to see law enforcement also understand that there's another way to engage our communities. Well put. Michael Austin, President and CEO of the Los Angeles Urban League, we thank you so much for your insight and for joining us today. We hope we can talk to you again very soon. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Absolutely.